So your character has a few secrets. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about, was that something that drew you to this role? Yes, yeah. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I was just saying over on the other table that uh, Bruno Heller is uh, our fabulous creator. He is writing fabulous women characters in this piece. And that was one of the main things that drew me to this role, is that Barbara, she's really strong, she's really intelligent, really independent, she's very driven and she's very much in love with, with Jim. Um, but she has all of these layers of kind of darkness and the, the things that have happened in her past that I can't reveal, but they, you know, they, they do become obvious as the series go, goes on. And I think playing a role like that is um, such a, a gift. Um, and I feel like in television at the moment, more and more women are allowed to play these roles where they can be like this really strong, independent woman, but they also have, you know, they have layers of past and darknesses and, and loneliness and you know um, fears and I think that's just reflective of most people like not just women it's, it's everyone you know everyone has all of these different dimensions so it, it's such a joy to be able to play that. And we expect that all the dark secrets uh, will drive away between her and Jim? And they will begin to yes unfortunately um, even though she's so dedicated to this relationship and to Jim and to, the, to their love and they have a lot of love for each other and respect um, they, they're both um, hiding things in their lives that when they when those things are revealed it's, it's a big clash so yeah they, they, they're really trying to get it together but that's kind of the the big question in, the, in this series for their relationship is, is will it stand the test of all of these secrets. Is there anything you can tell us about her relationship with my toy? We kind of saw hints of yeah, I mean, just not more, I don't want to give anything away, um, they obviously have a, a background um, and she, you know, she had her time with Montoya and that's obviously affecting her now and, and she's questioning, you know, why she did that and what, what sort of led her to that and, and how it's going to affect her and Jim, so, yeah, you just have to keep watching, it'll go in a good direction, I promise. <laughs> But I mean, she eventually, she has to kind of be with Jim because together they're going to make Barbara Gordon. And that's, that's true, that's but her. you never know, you know, when that's going to happen. That's, I mean, well, yeah, I it's think down the, the road. Yeah, and also, you know, we, we, we obviously have to stick to the story to some extent, but um, DC have given us quite a free reign, I think, with, you know, where we go within that, within that story. So, I wouldn't be so sure that they're gonna that it'll go well. Clash <laughs> with Sarah S and Jim. Yeah, I don't know where that, that. I don't think we're going along that line. Um, as I say, like we, we're allowed to sort of do a little bit, but maybe not. I don't think it's going to go that way. You never know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you'll have to ask Sabrina. She plays that. <laughs> Are there any more uh, upcoming storylines where Barbara kind of puts a wrench in things and causes a an investigation to to quite go maybe go off the rails a little bit? Uh, sort of, yeah. There's um, seven is a really big episode um, for me and for everyone, um, and she does something in there that is a bit um, a bit of a wrench in the proceedings. So yeah. So when you came into this, were you sort of a that virgin, so to speak. <laughs> like, did you have to no. start doing the homework and the research to find out about this universe? Uh, no, I was a really big fan of Batman. Um, I, I've always been a fan. I used to uh, dress up as Batman when I was a kid and put on clothes for my family and make them all watch. Uh, so I was a really big fan. I watched, I watched all the films when I was a kid. I was a big fan of the um, Tim Burton comics growing up. And I just, Batman has always been my favourite character. And I know it's easy, like, it sounds like I'm just saying that, but it really was. There's a video somewhere of me dressed up as Batman. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I still went back and I read over um, a few of the comics. I wasn't as into the comics as I was the films. Um, so I've seen all the films, but I rewatched them. Even though I made a New Year's resolution that I wouldn't rewatch any okay. films, I let that one slide. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went back and read Year One, which is the comic that mm -hmm. I was in. Uh, what's it like with Ben working your scenes together? Fantastic, yeah. We kind of, we, it's, it's so lovely to have somebody who I get on with so well and really trust. And we just, I feel like every scene we do, we just come into it with this real sense of excitement that we get to work together. And I think he likes our scenes because, you know, in his everyday detective work, he has to be like the, the hard detective man. And, 
when he comes home to me, he gets to sort of have a softer um, side of the field, and I think that's a really nice thing for us to be able to play with each other. So we're getting on really well. He's also in a position, Jim Gordon is, where he can't trust anyone, so he really needs to have a bar Yeah, yeah, it's a shame he can't really trust him either, but yeah, bless him. Poor Jim, the only good man in Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> okay.